friends, welcome back to my channel, Rachel Reviews. We have a Wantable unboxing today, and this Wantable box is a month in the making. <laughs> so this was, I didn't do like a themed edit this time. If you haven't um, tried Wantable before and you want to, I'll leave a description down below and my referral link um, if you'd like to try Wantable. Anyway, I didn't do a like themed edit box this time. I just did like my regular style edit, and that order went in on August 28th. Um, I don't know when this video is going to go up because I try to post one a week and sometimes they pile up on me. But, the day I am filming this is October 3rd, Mean Girls Day! It's October 3rd. Um, so yeah, I got it this week. It took like a month. They did keep in contact with me really well um, about like delays and things like that. They were waiting for new products to come in, new inventory. Um, so they did give me, you know, some credit for my box being late. So, that was really nice. I appreciate that. Um, but yeah. Let's get into it. Not gonna lie, this room gets really hot because there is no fan. I suppose I could open the window, but it's not like it's super cold out. And I think it's it was supposed to rain, but I'm seeing blue skies, so a little disappointed. Nothing I like better. Well, there's a lot of things I like better than a Sunday when you're home, you have nowhere to go, it's raining, you can knit and watch TV do laundry, wave your screwdriver around. You can do all those things on a rainy Sunday. Here we go. We have our trusty, rusty screwdriver that we're going to open the box with so that you can leave your scissors in more important rooms of the house, like the kitchen or the living room or just really anywhere else it's supposed to be. All right. She's a big bundle of joy, we hope. I just reminded myself of, okay. The bundle came unbundled. I really tried to do a nice flippage there, but let me see if I can, let me see if I can bundle her back up so we can do a nice little, little preview. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's painter's tape. Yes, I taped her back up because look at that cute, well this is the more pretty side. Just like me, this is the more pretty side. No. Okay, here's the bundle. She looks real cute, she looks real fall. Does she wor look worth the wait? Does she look worth the wait? That's a tongue twister. I think so. Let's get her open. Today's video is brought to you by me being very warm. Okay, this sweater, if anyone's interested, is from Target. I got it in this lovely, lovely blue, and I also got it in like an orange for, you know, fall. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing that. Here we go. Okay. Woo. I so desperately want it to be sweater season, but it's still very warm. First up, I think this bundle's upside down, but that's okay. First up, we have this sweater. Let's, where's the front? This is the front. And she looks like she's kind of like drop shoulder a little bit. Got some cute stripes going through it. Nice little beige moment. I don't think I really have too many beige things, but the stripes are nice. I like that. She looks a little bit cropped, maybe. A little boxier. I like that. Okay. I'm pulling. Next we have, ooh, some like pajama bottomy things. I go over the names and the prices at the end. If this is your first time here, hello. <laughs> so some like ribbed Pajama bottoms, they are a wide leg for my wide legs, and they're nice. They have a drawstring. They feel nice. Next, we're just going to go through this. We're going we're gonna to hustle. This is, ooh, it's kind of maybe like a goldenrod kind of color. It's coming off more goldenrod in the camera, but it's almost like not a sickly yellow, but kind of. <laughs> It has a cuffed sleeve there that is sewn, so you can't uncuff it. it. has a pocket on the boob. Looks like it's a longer length. V-neck, we'll try it. We try everything here, except tomatoes. And next we have, okay, she's like a little poncho, a cowl neck, olive green, dolman, kind of poncho moment. See, they're waiting. They, they're feeling fall, too. That's, 
it's really soft. It was really soft. Next we have, lastly for the clothes, it looks like they sent me a couple jewelry items, um, is this sparkly number. Hello, who are you? That's a really pretty purple. Does it feel a little itchy? Yes, on the inside it does not. The inside is smooth, outside sparkle, dark purple. That's kind of cute. She looks a little boxy too. Get it? Boxing? And hi. We have, I've missed filming. It's been um, a couple weeks since I broke my camera. I got my new camera. Okay. These are humongous and they're not really my style. So I don't think I'm going to take them out of the package after I just got done saying we try everything. But here are these earrings. It's really hard to tell I'm sorry in the plastic, but there we go. By Lou & Co. They're just not really my style. I'm more into like the simplistic gold kind of jewelry lately. These are like beads. So I'm not going to try those on. And this is like a sealed plastic, so I don't really want to unseal it. They're nice. They're just not my style. So back in the bubble wrap they go. Sorry, I just don't want to clean them and dirty, you know, clean them, put them on my ears, and then clean them again, and put, package it all back up. So, I'm, I know I'm not going to keep those. And the next jewelry piece is a bracelet, maybe? Looks like a snake! <laughs> this one has a Ziploc kind of thing there. Oh. It's a magnet. This is a necklace. My neck is not that small. So I will not be keeping that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing that. Let's see. Oh my god. <laughs> no. No. Not for me. Not for me. <clears throat> I don't like scarves um, because they choke you. And this is quite literally a choker. I do like the magnetic closure. I think that's really cool, but that would have to be like four inches longer for me to keep it. No jokes, please, people. Okay, that's what she said, I know. All right, so not keeping the two jewelry pieces, so let's try on the clothes. Just realized I forgot to read the note. Can you tell it's been a while since I filmed? Um, they send you the bag to, oh, and that came off that necklace. <laughs> they send you the bag to send back, but you don't want to keep. Now I have to find which bag it was that has the necklace in it. Oh my god. Well, not that one. I had a 50-50 chance. Okay, back to the note. I felt something poking me back there. Okay, hi, Rachel. So happy to style you again, Rachel. I am so sorry for the delay and appreciate your patience. I hope it was worth the wait. It looks pretty good so far. Crunchy leaves, pumpkin spice, and cooler temps are the best part of the fall season. This set is filled with everything you need to tackle the first few weeks of cooler air after a hot summer. Grab your favorite fall drink. The style team loves the pumpkin cream cold brew from Starbucks. And enjoy the changing of the leaves or spending time at the apple orchards. I like from Big B. The caramel apple cider frozen is the best drink you will ever have. If you want like energy, you can add their zip to it, which you know, whatever that is. Um, I was thrilled to include a few more of your requests. I think you'll love them. We hope you take some time to enjoy the changing of this season before the winter blues come. Be sure to tell us what you winter blues. Be sure to tell us what you love and don't love at self-checkout so we can find the perfect pieces to add to your fall wardrobe. Enjoy Jordan. Thanks, Jordan. Now let's get on to trying the clothes. Here's the first shirt. It's the sparkly purple. Let's get closer so you can see the sparkles. It's okay. I'm not in love with the fit of it. I wish it were either, well not either. I wish it were maybe a little boxier, like cropped like that. And I think that makes it better. I mean, yeah, you could always tuck it in. Let's see that. And that makes it better, but you don't always want to have to tuck something in, right? 
I do really like the deep purple. Here's the back. I don't know if I'm in love with the sparkles. I think maybe. And then the neck is like a little too boat-like for me as well. So it's not my favorite. I do really like the color though. I decided to move away from the door. Let me know how you like it. <laughs> and stand over here instead. I thought maybe you could see the juxtaposition of the color better. I don't know. I'm not a scientist. Okay. <laughs> Here's the first step. I don't know. It's okay. Here is the Dolman Poncho Cowl Neck. It is so, 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 so soft. It is um, like a smaller kind of opening down here. Like it, well, it's a Dolman, so that's how they work, people. <laughs> They're smaller down here um, so that it kind of tapers. I like this one. It's okay. Let's play with the cowl neck a little bit. It's all right. It's, it's one of the nicer. What just fell? No, earrings are all there. Necklace is there. Oh, the tag. <laughs> Real time. The tag just fell off. So, that's fine. Okay. It's one of the nicer, softer collar necks I've tried in a while. I don't know if I'm in love with it. I've been, you know, trying to go for a more kind of fitted silhouette lately. But it's okay too. It's 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 okay too. I don't know. Do you guys know? Anybody? Like I I'm never sure how to layer the color neck part. It's really comfy. Like, on a cold day, this would be super nice. It's really comfy. I keep flailing my arms around. <laughs> it's really nice. It's soft. I don't know. Maybe I like it better with my hair up so that it's not falling on the cowl neck part. It's okay. Let's try it on the other ones. We'll see. It's a we'll see. Okay, I feel like you can kind of see better that kind of sickly yellow <laughs> I was talking about before. Let me angle the camera down a little bit. See how it's like, it's not like a golden rod. It's like a weird sickly yellow. It has the pocket there for your snacks. It would be good for leggings. I'm not in love with it. I'm not in love. I do like the V-neck. And now it looks golden rod. It's so weird. But I wouldn't wear it to work. A lot of my clothes, you know, I go to work five days a week. I wear work clothes all the time. You know, kind of like black pants, green pants, nice like, you know, business casual top. This is too cash for me. On my, you know, two days a week, I wear casual clothes. I think I have enough tops like this already, so. Okay, we have the pajama pants, which I completely forgot about, and the sweater left. So let's do the sweater, and then I guess we'll try on the pajama pants with my blue sweater I was wearing. I don't know. <laughs> okay, here she is. I like her. Are her sleeves a little long? Yes, that's fine. But the length is great. I think that's really cute. I like the neck. I like the stripes. I like the drop shoulder. It's the perfect length. I think she's really cute. Yay, we have a winner! So if all else fails, which they haven't failed so far, they're just not what I like right now. We have her. We have this winner. Adorable. Do you want to see the back? Here's the back. The stripes go all the way around all the way around and I would wear it to work. I think I would. She's cute. Okay, let's try on the pajama pants. Okay, here's the sleeve length if you want to see though. But you can, you know, you can fold her up. <laughs> you know, you could if you wanted to. Do just a nice nine fold. 
there. But I don't mind them being a little longer. Can you hear me? I don't know why I'm talking so loud. I don't mind the sleeves being a little longer. It's fine. Okay. Let's try on the pajama pants. <laughs> Bottoms? Loungers? I don't know. Let's try them on. Here are the pants. I just threw on my Natalie attire top if you watched my last video. Or maybe this one will go first. I don't know. Anyway, they're too long. And I've been liking more like tapered, you know, like joggers, lounge pants. They're really comfy though. And the, like, I do like the pleating is really cute. Um, the drawstring does actually work. It makes it tighter or looser. I just wish they weren't so long. And I know I could, I could crop them or hem them. I'm not going to. <laughs> they're, you know, lounge pants. So they're just too long. Otherwise they're real cute. There's no pockets also. They're really comfy. They are really comfy. They're flowy. They're just too long. Okay, let's go over prices. Prices. Here we go. The Josh, of course. Of course, it's the one I like is the most expensive one. The Drop Shoulder Striped Sweater in Taupe in the size XL, uh, $59. The V-neck, I'm gonna keep it. I do have some credit. Thank you for people signing up. If you do sign up using my link, I do get credit. I appreciate it. Uh, no pressure. The V-neck ribbed pocket top in mustard, <laughs> sickly yellow as I call it, $54. Um, that's by Cori America, K-O-R-I. The drop shoulder top is by ACOA. Um, the brush rib cowl neck top in olive, W by, is W by Wantable, $58. The foggy, Foggy Soil. Foggy Foil SS Top in Plum by Cory America, $48. A lot of Cory America. Oh! Well, that doesn't make... I would have liked that, probably. Okay. Um, so, on my invoice, it says um, that they were sending me this in the ribbed hoodie. They sent it to me in the pants. So, Rib Hoodie Top H Gray by Cory America, $54. So, I don't even know how much these are. Hmm. The Halo Venetian Chain Necklace in Gold was $49, or $40. And the Glass Tile Earrings in Yelling Read Much Yellow Multi is $32 by Lou & Co. Um, the necklace but was by Katie Loxton. So, the merchandise total is $345. If you keep five or more items, you get 20% off. Um, keep five plus discount. Um, the order subtotal would be two seventy six minus the styling fee credit of like twenty dollars. Um, so two fifty six for all of that. If I would have liked it, all. I'm gonna keep the striped, you know, sweater. I don't have anything like that in that kind of beige color with those colored stripes. So that's what I'm keeping. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. I hope you like this box. I'm going to go do some laundry um, all day. Maybe knit. I don't know. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.